What's up guys? I'm gonna do a walk around of the mods on my 2015 GSXR 750. Boom! Alright, stop the music. Um, anyways, so this bike is a 2015, like I said, GSXR 750. Um, so I get a lot of requests on uh, like a mods uh, walk around my bike. I did one about a year and a half ago just after I bought the bike. So now I've had it for about two years now. So I'm gonna do just, I'm gonna just cover the whole thing as much as I can remember anyway. And uh, if you guys have any questions, just hit me up, message me. If I can't find the link to anything, then I'll try to help you out as best as possible. So like I said, 2015 um, G6R 750 in the MotoGP color scheme. Um, so one of the main things I get request on quite a lot are these mirror black offs, but they're actually turn signals as well. So you don't have to lose your turn signals in the front. Now they're not the brightest thing in the world, but they get the job done. At night they're pretty bright because they're LEDs, but in the daytime it's just, you know, it's not, not the brightest head or uh, indicators you can get. So there's my headlight in the daytime. And I'll just go ahead and turn my flashers on so you can see that it's I know it's kind of pitiful in the daytime not gonna lie but at night it's actually pretty bright and you know that's one of the other benefits of having a bright colored bike you're very visible in the daylight so if I had a black bike I probably wouldn't do this um, so yeah these are hot bodies um, try to think of anything else I can um, just right off the top of my head. So my levers right here, shorty levers, I got these from the two wheels.com. They're, uh, actually like Chinese knockoffs, but they're really good quality. I mean, for what they are, they were only like, I think they were like 30 bucks shipped and they, you know, adjust up to seven times. I mean, I've had them on the last three bikes I've had. So the last like six years, I've been rocking these same levers, obviously not the same pair, but from the same company. So, and then moving right on, this is the two inch CRG blindside mirror. What's up? <laughs> so I love these. Uh, a lot of people rock the three inch ones, which are very typical in like your local cycle gear or whatnot. But the two inch ones are made by CRG. As far as I know, they're the only ones that make two inch CRG or blindside mirrors. So really love those. Um, moving on. This is Stomp Grip. We get over here in the sunlight, you can see it a little bit better. This is Stomp Grip. I got the clear so you can still see the uh, MotoGP color scheme, which I absolutely love. Um, this little uh, Suzuki S is actually chrome, but I actually just plasti dipped it. I taped it off, plasti dipped it high vis yellow to match the rest of the bike, and I love it. So. These are Pro Grip. I want to say they're like 727 or 729, something like that. I'll link that in the description as well. Um, so Pro Grip um, helps a lot with the vibration. I need to upgrade these. You can see they're kind of smooth, but that's you know 10,000 plus miles on. Still doing good. So another Pro Grip tank pad. Um, this and the suzuki carbon um triple tree cover um it's actually i got these on amazon so if you guys have any questions about that you want me to link these specifically just go ahead and ask me so these two i got as a kit um i think they just kind of add a little flair to the bike obviously it protects from my key ring and whatnot but i don't have keys on here anyway so no biggie for me. Um, Shogun frame sliders. They have done well. I uh, tested them. <laughs> uh, not purposely, but yeah, they've been tested and they work great. <laughs> so, um, moving on, as far as decals, this is just a uh, Tale of the Dragon sticker. You probably know that. If you live in the United States, you probably know, you're familiar with that. Um, this 750 sticker, I bought a full decal kit for a GSXR 750, um, and it came with this 
and it came with the Suzuki and I put that on the rim and I put the 750 up in front I wasn't sure about it at first but people liked it so I think I'm gonna leave it rock it um, so obviously on the other side same thing Shogun frame sliders um, one of the most recent mods I've done thanks to Heather is this right here and this is a heat shield for M4 exhaust it's the same exact heat shield for the as the uh, stock exhaust but it's carbon I mean look at that I mean there's nobody out there that doesn't like carbon fiber if they do they're weird so anyways obviously the uh, GP slip-on from M4 exhaust systems um let's see what else what else have i done to it um chain and sprockets are still stock uh haven't done anything with the brakes anything like that no brake lines um oh right here so the carbon uh carbon fiber is it's not real carbon fiber like the uh heat shield is this is fake carbon fibers the exact same thing as the suzuki's come with so i actually you can buy this through suzuki for like 200 and something dollars anyways i bought it from amazon or ebay for like 30 dollars shipped it comes from china another thing you gotta wait like two or three weeks to get this because it's shipping all the way from china but way worth it man it's literally the exact same thing suzuki makes Except they make it cheaper like a fraction of the cost it's ridiculous so um fender eliminator kit this i wish i could tell you guys where i got this because i can tell you where i got this i got this off a of honda grom <laughs> i actually um was hooked up with a um let's see a fender eliminator kit from tst industries and it put it way down here which when I was riding, you couldn't see it with the back wheel. I got pulled over twice for it. So the second time I got pulled over for it, I was just like, screw it. I'm just gonna go ahead and, you know, rig up something. So you can see this is, uh, you know, very clean, but it's actually made from a Honda Grom uh, tag bracket. So I just took it off, uh, drilled new screw holes in there little bit ghetto i guess you could say but like you literally cannot tell like unless i were to tell someone like hey by the way this is from a honda grom <laughs> you really can't tell like it looks super clean on the bike so anyways i think that's about it um obviously the rim tape got this off of ebay high viz um not yellow it's actually high viz which i love because it matches the bikes completely the bike just looks i mean to me the bike just looks freaking awesome the way it is right now just beautiful um so i think that's about it as far as mods i really don't think there's anything that i'm overlooking um salt decal another salt decal <laughs> you guys can pick that up at my shop links in the description um i think that's about it i'm gonna say that's it if i forgot anything then i am terribly sorry uh, I'm gonna get head out and ride now because it's like 85 degrees in Florida and I'm kind of sweating right now wearing my leather jacket so you know don't squid wear your gear kids and uh, all the people driving by they're like they're just, they're just looking at me they're like what is that guy doing he's talking to a little bitty square but I'm talking to you guys out there thank you for watching my videos and I will see you on the next one peace